Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on the channel. It's been a while, but we're back. And uh, yeah, as you see my title of this video, uh, this is basically series two of Project All Class. We're um, deciding to fix the S Class because it's been off the road for the last 18 months since uh, November 2018. So, what's gonna happen to it? Well, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen to it in this video. Uh, it needs a quite a bit of work, but it'll get done and hopefully, in a couple of months time it should be on the road and looking great once more so now i'm just going to tell you what needs doing to the car so the first thing that needs to be looked into is the front suspension it's fine at the minute but there's an annoying knock coming from one side we don't know which however the problem is to do with one of the control arms so that is going to go off to be replaced <laughs> and uh, also it's going to have to have a rear tire on because when we're going to do the control arms, it's also going to be MOT'd at the same time, hopefully. Now, another issue is with the bodywork. It looks fine from here. Mainly on this side is where the issue is. Look here, it looks fine. But if I go up close to this rear arch, there's a little bit of rust in here. And that's hopefully going to get repaired. It was repaired five years ago when we got the car. Nearly five years ago. Um, but... It's starting to bubble back up. See if we just look closer here. Just go underneath. You can just see just rust all over it. So that's hopefully going to get repaired and repainted. Uh, the rear we the wheels are either going to get refurbished or replaced. And I uh, think uh, really, oh yes, one more thing. It's and it's an electrical issue. If I just uh, unlock the car, if I just put the key in. So if you remember in the last video, in just in the last video in general, when I um, when we replaced the window switch, you, won't, you wouldn't see it because we were doing with the blue car. But we replaced the window switch and everything works fine. Seat. But this window press this nothing happens press this window starts to go down basically the window is working incorrectly and the boot won't pop up and the mirrors don't move but we've ordered a new switch and that's hopefully going to get fitted um, another problem is with the dash if you remember a couple of years ago the instrument cluster stopped working I released a video saying the car's broken again and the instrument cluster just didn't work. No lights, uh, the rev counter didn't work, speedometer didn't work and the temperature gauge didn't work. All that worked was the fuel gauge. So we ordered a replacement instrument cluster. But hopefully we'll be able to get the original instrument cluster replaced because if you look in here, there's no mileage. Which isn't a big issue, but it'll be nice to have the mileage up and its original set of clocks put in. And another slight issue is with this radio. It works fine at the minute, but if I just go on here, the navigation says it's being activated. Now, it either works or doesn't, but most of the time it works and it's telling us it's the CD at fault. So what I'm hopefully going to do is order a replacement up-to-date navigation CD. Well, and um, the lights are all working and everything, so that doesn't need to be addressed. Uh, cruise control all works. All it needs, and all, oh yeah, it also needs the service B service doing. So if I go into uh, the cluster, yeah, that's bad. So hopefully, before it goes back on the road, it's gonna have oil change, air filter change. Um, what else does it have? can't remember but that's the first thing it has oh yeah oil filter change so that's what it's supposed to have for its service b so there, there's a good few issues there but hopefully they'll get addressed and a couple of them were addressed today i didn't mention this when we we're on the switch at that quarter that rust but here 
we've had a battery charge plugged in and a wire has run through and scraped all down the side. But today we have waxed the car and all the, wa all the wax has got all the scratches off and um, made it look like nearly night new again. But hopefully when that gets done, around here gets done because it's not perfect. You can see them on camera, but there are a few little marks. You, you can't, but there are a few marks. And um, also on the bonnet, there are also a couple of like scrapes here. You can, I can see them, but the camera can't pick them up. And that doesn't look too good. But it was also waxed. Like I say, it was waxed today. And it looks like new. The paint feels like new too. Uh, the headlights today were also given a good cleaning. Because so, all up here was all like yellow. But the sun's been beaming on it. But all that's been cleaned. And the grill has been uh, jury glitted. So it's been given a nice new shine. Like new. Uh, all basically all the chrome was um during glitter on the car if you look at the back the badges look like new this amg badge also looks like new the exhaust tips and i also dual glittered the um mercedes bench strips in the door so we're getting somewhere and also i hoovered out the inside of the car so it looks uh, decent so it could go back on the road as it is, but it needs all sorts of work doing to it. Like I say, the front suspension and the rear tyre, so then it will pass an MOT. Then hopefully we'll be able to sort out all the other little problems like that. Then rust in the corner and that service B. And then it will be like a new car. But the main problem is with that window switch as I can't open all of the windows on the driver's side or operate anything so you can operate all four windows you can only operate the driver's window which is a shame but hopefully a new one should be coming this week so it should be like a new car again in a couple of months time so that is the end of this video of um, sort of introducing what's happening with the Mercedes. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time in a new video of hopefully some work actually getting done to this car. Yeah, see you next time.